Now let's send the postcard through Lob. So what I'm going to do here is go back to this offers record and actually modify the template. So I want to add in the offer delivery area a mail postcard item. Move this up from here and click done. So now we have mail postcard. Go back to REI flow. And since we added a new field, what we have to do is go to the apps and click refresh apps and fields. This will pull that new field into REI flow. Make sure it shows up in all your drop downs and field selections. So this will be done in a few seconds. Now we are done. And go back to flows, new flow, and say send postcard using lob. Select the offers app because we're going to trigger from there and update and enable. And we're going to add a run if action. We're going to say if the offer delivery equals mail postcard. Let's make sure everything matches up exactly. Mail space dash space postcard with the capital P. And it looks good. Finally, we will add send postcard using lob. Add that to the end of the flow. And now in this action, we will select two items, the front postcard and the back of the postcard. Now to show you what those are in documents, open that in a new tab and we will see here we have a document for postcard back, postcard front. These are examples that I created using the new postcard button right here. This gives you a postcard editor. So let's, I'll show you the front. So this is the postcard editor. Probably some work and need some work, but uh, it should suffice for now. And uh, so we have the image back here. We can change that image by selecting background image, pasting a link in here, and then that background image will change and be pointed to that link. So this is the postcard. I just have a simple, hey, first name, let's add, we want to buy your house. Let's change the color of this to see it a little bit better. Text color, we'll change it to red. And save. And now let's go back to documents. And additionally, we have the back of the postcard, which is right here. You can see that I don't have a picture back here, but this is the blue part are the safe zones where you can type in information. Right here will be where Lob puts the return address or the address and all their information. So you can't type in here. And normally we can hide this safe zone by clicking this or showing it, just to give you a reference. If you show it, beware that it will show up on your postcard. So before you save, we'll hide this, save that document. Now we'll go back to the flows. So here we need to select the front and the back of the postcard. So we'll do front here, back. Now we'll add in the recipient information. Address. City. Now if you remember from the last video, the 
state field in the address location field in Podio gives you the full spelled out state name. So I'm going to just hard code the NJ in here. And lastly, we'll put in the zip in the country. This is the postal code country is US. And now I'll put in my information for the return. Now I will work on figuring out a way to transform a spelled out name into a two digit abbreviation. But right now I do not have that capability. So we can uh, click save. Now we have this saved. And let's go to our uh, Podio and see if this works. So it's a mail postcard. Give it a few seconds, maybe a minute. See if everything works out right. Let me get the message back. All right, this worked. Postcard successfully sent to lob. Postcard ID. Estimated delivery date. And here's a quick example to see the postcard. So here it is. Says, hey Gary, we want to buy your house. And then this is a test for Gary. So, ugly postcard, not ever going to send this one, but it's an example and you can see how this works. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, uh, leave, me, leave me a message in the community forum and uh, thank you.